This is problem number four from the June 2014 Algebra Regents exam. So what we're given here is two, um, or a system of inequalities, these two inequalities here, and uh, we need to find out which one of these graphs represents the solution. Um, so I notice this first inequality here, y plus x, is greater than two. Um, the problem is that we don't, we haven't isolated y yet, so I'm going to do that by subtracting an x from both sides of the inequality, and we'd get y is greater than negative x plus two. Now that we've done that, we can kind of see which uh, line represents this inequality. So negative x plus 2, that means we're dealing with a y-intercept of 2 and neg a negative slope. So if we were to graph it, it's, it's uh, this one here. So it kind of goes down like this. Um, now, y has to be greater than, so oh, actually, I guess that means it would be a dotted line, right? Let's try that again. Okay, so it should be a dotted line because um, it doesn't include that line. And then uh, we're looking for everything greater than it, so everything up here. Now for the other one, we've already got y isolated by itself, and it's y is less than or equal to 3x minus 2. And that's going to be the graph that goes upwards like this. And y needs to be less than or equal to... So we are going to do a solid line, and we're interested in highlighting the area below it. So we can see um, the area of importance is this area here. You can see what I'm highlighting. That's where um, the solutions are for both a set of inequalities. And taking a look at our possible answers, it looks like the one that matches this is option number two. And be careful, uh, you might think it's option number one. But um, again, this should be a dotted line like we point, I pointed out earlier. All right, and that's all for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Regents Preparation.